Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold, or Sacred Gold, with me, the Dragon Claw. Uh, so, last time, we just finished dealing with the, uh, uh, rival, and the, uh, the, uh, people in the Burnt Tower, and I also forgot to change the time, God damn it. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go and do a few more things here. We're gonna, first of all, catch our two Pokemon here, which I don't believe we did. Because we had a repel, quite wisely. So we're gonna go catch something here. And it's a Stantler. I fully expected as much. And then we're gonna go try and clear out the gym. I suppose not all of it, just like... Just the uh, trainers. Uh, so we're gonna want to quick attack this guy. Then you throw Ultra Balls at him, I think. Oh, that was not... Oh yeah, this guy's got recoil damage attacks. Oh god! Careful, Peafod. I want him alive. Uh, let's just throw an Ultra Ball. God damn it. This guy's a guy. We're gonna have to just use Ultra Balls. Why can I never use my Love Balls? Okay, I might have to switch out to like Vukum or something to take these hits. Ooh, God. That, yeah, that hurt a lot. Okay, um, P4, you're, you're getting switched out, buddy. Um, let's switch into... Oh, Grizzle could take it. Like, take a lot of these. Let's see what moves he's got, though. He could paralyze him. Excellent. Grizzle, you're out. As in, you're in. As in, paralyze this thing, would you? It used Confuse Ray. Why would it do that? <sighs> alright, Grizzle. Don't get confused. I want you to Thunder Wave the Stantler, alright? Just point your magnets at him and Thunder Wave. Excellent. Well done. Now you just sit there and absorb damage for a bit. Thankfully it missed. Okay. Let's hope we can catch this thing before it kills itself. I should send out a girl so that I can use my love balls. I never want that quote taken out of context. Stomp. Ha! You can't stomp me! I am made of steel! I however do need you kind of... dead. Un well, not quite dead, just almost dead. Uh, Netball, would you? Water and bug types. Bug is just normal. Oh, uh, I've only got one more Ultra Ball. Alright. Who's the tankiest female I know? Emlaquee. You can do it. I need you to take a few of the, uh, of the hits, and then help me catch this thing with your sexuality. Um, poison sting. That won't hurt it too much. Ah, you missed. Ah, oh, goddamn! He's going for a blinding tactic. Okay, well this is going to be kind of inconvenient. Poison sting. Yeah, can't dodge them all. Gotta dodge them all. Okay, that hurt a little bit. But it's in yellow now, so go, love ball. I will cherish you forever, Stantler. Get him this flamboyantly coloured Pokeball. This was not flamboyant, it's just pink. But it's bright pink. And it appears love was the way to go. Well, that stand low took quite a lot of... Or did quite a lot of damage to my team. Okay, the curve dampener has subtly changed to the flow of air to create a strange space when where reality is distorted. Wow, okay. That, um... Huh, alright. That didn't. That was not going where I thought it was going. I thought it'd be something like, "Oh, it flows with the wind, and then every Stantler is unique." Nope. It's just it bends the fabric of space-time. Okay, Mr. Space-Time Bender, you'll be known as D D Steve. You shall be known as Steve. Alright. I'm actually going to heal up after that, I think. If I can. I'd rather really switch out p -Ford. We need Grizzle here. Yeah, I probably don't need to like, heal up or anything. I'll go to Poké Center after this. Grizzle can do it, isn't that right, Grizzle? Oh, a growl life! I have lost all faith in Grizzle! <laughs> um, This thing could Ember. But I need the Paralyze. Um, 
Hmm. Who could I send out? Well, god damn it, I meant to check his moves. Oh well. Who can tank this for a bit? Oda Sleuth, eh? Very useless move on you, but uh. Let's uh, must cut you. Just a little. Like, not much, just a little. There we go. Okay, so he's, he's got a physical fire move. wonder if he's going to have a special one, like Ember. Because that's the only reason I took Luke out, because I think he could, or uh, Grizzle out, because I think he could take a special, super effective physical. Just for special I was worried about. If necessary, I'll switch into him. But, um, eat my love balls. Ah, oh, damn it, that didn't work. This Pokemon does not like to be loved. Alright. Um, where did I put my s and ball? Oh, your ball, go! I've got to paralyze this guy, me thinks. Come on, come on. Yes! Excellent. Alright, so a Growlithe is a fantastic addition, because I do like fire types. Fire types are pretty awesome. Um, although they do tend to be quite offensive. And I do prefer defensive types, but whatever. Fire's a fire. The brave, na brave and trustworthy nature, and fearlessly stands up to bigger and stronger foes. That's good, because I'm probably going to need you to take on a Steelix later on. Let's call you. Um. Do. 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 Dwood. Just Dwood. Oh, wait, no, you're, you're a girl. You can't be a Dwood. Um, well, you can be a Dwood. Dwood it. There we go. Fixed it. Okay. That is all we need from this area, so let's go back and heal up. Ah, oh, goddammit. I hope I can kill it. It's the crowd life. Hmm. Alright, Grizzle. You're going to be testing something. Shockwave. Can you one-shot a Growlithe? With a non-super effective move. I would hope so. Yes, that's good. I suppose it's a, only a wild Growlithe, so... Alright. So I've got Kiri in the team, and... She's got an XP share? I should just... Default is she whenever I talk about my Pokemon because it's statistically likely that I'll be correct. Uh, she's got the XP share on her. Hopefully, she'll like level up to something like a reasonable, uh, a reasonable level to fight the gym with. But she's got Bite, so you know she might be useful if we need to uh, go down that route. However, I do suspect that. Uh, oops, sorry, Alan. Uh, Umbrian and uh, Peafood. Yeah, Umbrian and Peafood are probably going to be my two go-to Pokemon here. But uh, let's check out the gym. Oh, I forgot to look up that type, whether or not Ghost was a or by was super effective against Ghost. Let's see if I can just do that real quick. I should probably done this when I was like talking to someone so that it wouldn't be so awkward to for you to watch. Can you inflict any damage on my Pokemon? No! Because Grizzle is out first, and I'm an idiot. <laughs> Ghastly. Well, I suppose this is going to be a test of whether or not they can do any damage to mine. Um, do a shock wave. Oh god, I... Do you ever, like, search for Pokemon type charts, and then there's so many different kinds of type charts that some of them are just really confusing? I just picked a really bad one, just accidentally. Ah, shop it. But one of the things I'm really scared of is that this ghost gym is gonna have someone with Destiny Bond. And like, I'm just gonna be faster than it but still able to one-shot it, or like, I'm gonna be slower than it but able to one-shot it. And they'll just Destiny Bond me and it'll hurt. That's cool. It would almost be better if I couldn't one-shot these things. Almost. 
I'm pretty sure this guy's gonna have a the gym leader's gonna have a Gengar that's super hard to uh, kill because the Gengar was the was the ace of the gym leader before in the base game, so it seems like they're keeping up the theme with the ba the main enemy of the gym main ace of the gym leader is always the biggest threat, just super buffed, and then with their own special intro. I don't think they had that in the base game though. Ah yes, when you defeat the uh, pre-gym trainers, they uh, they turn out their torch, and you can fall to your teleportation. And they like their torch again because they're, I don't know, kind people. My um, I have it as a point of pride to try and get to the gym leader without falling down once, but I've already failed that because uh, I'm gonna blame that on a D-pad error, but. It could also just be incompetence. I'm gonna go with payback. Okay. I was curious to see if I was faster or not than the hunter. Or haunter. And it appears I am. Which is... Alright. I'm glad I've got the payback still though, because that can be useful against Gengar. Which is notoriously fast. And I faint attack you. Ah, there you go. God damn it. I'm pretty sure this isn't super effective. I don't think Sableye has any weaknesses. It's like Spiritomb, yeah. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> well, I got my shell well. Oh, he's got Fury, Fury Swipes. Um, tickle it. Oh, he detected my tickle. Alright, Vukum. You've got to use your expert tickling skills. Tickle him real good. Get right under those armpits. Look, he's, he's got his arms out for you. It's like he wants to be tickled. That weird beanie thing with gems for eyes. Ah, I keep detecting your tickling. I think I've found out it's pattern though. Shadow Sneak! See? That's a priority ghost move. I hope he uses it again so I can use payback on him. Go payback! Ah, oh, damn it. I detected his pattern, but... It wasn't enough. Yes! Shadow Sneak! You will regret that, Sableye. Your defenses have been lowered, your defenses have been lowered twice, and this gets double strength whenever it goes second. I probably won't be able to afford to take that long to kill something in the final gym battle. Which I, I really need to get on getting some stat boosting moves to my Pokemon. Alright, let's... Oh, yep, yeah, you've got to turn off your light. Up, 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 uh, uh. Oh, there we go. Oh, hi. We've got to do a little shimmy. So, okay, shimmy downwards. Remember to shimmy down. Beyond that, it's fairly simple to do. Medium Edith. Since that was Drift Bloom. Faint Attack. So the great thing about Faint Attack is it can't miss. So, if someone tries... Uh, double Team... <gasps> Ooh, aftermath! Yes, I forgot those things could have that. That's something I need to pay attention to. Hopefully, she doesn't have like five of those. Ah, oh, Frost Lass. I will say, I do like what the intro cry of Frost Lass. It sounds really, really spooky. Oh, it goes first. Astonish isn't priority, is it? I don't think Astonish is priority. But if I can't one shot this, I'm gonna use payback next time. Uh, well. <laughs> Well, she might have a heal. I'm just going to go for payback for the safety. Yeah, well. I, don't, I forgot Frost Lasses were fast. What is it going on? I should probably check the uh, type chart I got up. It does not appear bug. 
is super effective against ghosts. In fact, Bug is ineffective against ghosts. Fair enough. I'll remember that. Or at least try to. Uh, payback. Damn it. I keep not guessing right when it comes to Pokemon speeds. I can't thought Vukum was pretty slow. Um, I guess not. I guess it's just average speed. Oh, mean look. I mean, it's not a problem now, but I can see that being a huge problem in the in the gym battle. I feel like we've got to rely on whoever goes out first is basically going to have to solo the gym pretty much. Because they're going to have mean look. I don't think I can counter that with anything. Like maybe a safeguard, but I don't have safeguard. I don't know where I'd get it. Okay, so down, across, across, up, across, up. Hello there. Ah, so, and you require me to go backwards and around. Remember to take Vukum's spot. Gotcha. Hello, other candle lady. You have a drift blimp. Level 28. C. Okay, I'm guessing this thing's gonna be fast. God damn it. <laughs> well, it might do a tailwind and then speed itself up or something. Okay, fortunately. I'm gonna get a bit more healing. Oh, and it's stockpiling. Excellent. Okay, it's defense and special defense rows. Um, Fugum, what's the stats on your attacks? 50, 60? Yep, okay. We're using faint attack. Because you're not going to go second, and we'll just have to brace for the aftermath. You should have enough health to mitigate it, though. Yeah, not too bad. I think it's about a quarter health, judging from that. Maybe a quarter or, a, or an eighth. Or maybe it's like half the damage you do to it. That is possible. I'll have to look that up. Ooh, assurance. I, uh... I forget what this does. Power is already taking damage in the same time as attack power is doubled. Um... Toxic assurance is kind of nice in Numbrian. Just toxic on Numbrian is pretty awesome, but I don't have toxic yet. I would replace toxic with tickle. But that kind of just defeats Fukum's entire purpose. So I uh, know I won't burn assurance. Because I've already got the payback. Wait, no, Toxic uh, Toxic won't activate assurance. Toxic goes last. What am I talking about? I suppose confusion assurance is probably what was. <laughs> Ironically confusing it with. Oh no, and it cross one and up? Yeah. Okay. Final battle. Um. Hmm, I've got 10 super potions, that's not enough. I should go to the shop and buy a bunch of stuff. This is what I'm going to do. So I've only really got two options for fighting Ghost. Ghost itself and Dark. I'm just assuming I'm not going to try and prey on the other types that the leader might have. Because like, Ghastly, Haunted Gengar are also poison types. Which led to the um, unfortunate belief of mine that the Psychic was strong against Ghost as well as Ghost was strong against Psychic. Um, it was actually just the fact that Gengar, Ghastly, and Haunter, which were the only, pretty much the only Ghosts in Red, were uh, um, poison, so it was super effective on that, not on the Ghost. But uh, I'm just gonna have another last look. I don't want to bring in Slowking. I mean, he's got good. She's got good stats, like 89 def special defense. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Alan's just not even a not even a question at this point. Neither is Shoney, because neither of them can even affect the ghost types. Uh, fire. A normal intimidate. Both got intimidate. You got a raspberry on you. I'll let you keep that. 
You want your moves? Don't take down the sand attack and fuse ray. Um, what are your stats actually? I don't even know what you're like. Physical and special attacker. Hmm. All right. Um, I think I'm just gonna go take the gym on. I don't think there's any reason not to. Uh, let's just make sure I've got everything sorted out. I mean, I kind of like to grind to get Kiri up. But, um, we're only 20 minutes in and I don't really have much else to do. Uh, I don't have a backup plan apart from Vukumbo. Do I need one? I suppose the answer to that question is always yes, but I have no idea what I'm going to fight in there. Apart from almost definitely a Gengar that's gonna speed and shadow ball. Vukum's probably my best defense against that. Uh, do I have any moves I want to teach anyone? Uh, I need to go to the shops, gotta remember to do that. Calm mind to increase special attack and special defense. Can Vukum learn that? I might take it over Tickle. No, he can't. No one can learn that. My people need to learn to calm their minds. Oops, wrong one. Uh, you turn. Grass Knot, Shadow Claw. Thief. Um. I can't steal if the user holds an item. That's a problem, though, because I don't want to go in there without an item. Because I don't, I don't know for sure if the enemy has one. I don't think I want to teach anything to anyone. I think I've got the best I could have. Um, I think so. Alright, Grizzle's going to be our second cho- well no, Grizzle's not going to be that great. To be honest, Peaford's probably- uh, Is Peaford weak to grow uh, thing? Ghost? Uh, no he's not. Ghost is only super effective against itself and Psychic. Just double checking. You know what I'm well, I'd really like to evolve you. You're just not evolving though, are you? I think it's going to have to be like a Quila Vukum pairing. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Alright, so um, let's go get some items. And who knows, maybe I'll actually just call it here, because I kind of want to level some people up. Who the hell are you? Fantina. Oh no, you must be a trainer, no? Like, I've come from a Sinnoh region. Oh. And your region mysterious. Blah, 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 blah. I'll explore. First trainer. You're the first trainer I've met. Wait, what? Strike that, reverse it. I should give you a gift. Oh, TM61. What's that? Will-O-Wisp. Eh. Uh... Okay, yeah, that, that's actually... Thanks for the tip, though. I'm surprised I'm the first trainer you've come across. But, yeah. Let's speak to you. I'm gonna need some burn heals, aren't I? I think that was their way of reminding me, but... I'm gonna need... Uh, super potions and... Um... Wait, how many can I get? I could probably get, like... Yeah, about 30. I'll get 10 more. I will also buy burn heals. About five. Should be enough to get me through the gym. Uh, Paralyze. Don't have any of those, so I'm going to buy five of those as well. Although I've got the four heals, it's nice to have just uh, the generic ones. Wait, let me buy. I need to buy ten great balls at least. Okay, anything else? No, I think I'm good on that. Uh, let's talk to you up here. What do you have? Heal ball and net ball. Uh, heal ball is kind of nice, but it's like meh. It's nice when you you know you're going to go on a long journey and you want to be able to heal. I think I'm ready. Glowing with health. <laughs> All right. Let's um. Let's let's work on. Let's hope that stays the same. But um, I think my two people are going to be Quila and Vukum. Just tandem that up. 
To be honest, I'm just gonna put Queen, uh, sorry, Kiri away. I think I'm just gonna go into this fight with, uh, with what I've got. Like, I'm not gonna risk. If I do wipe, I don't wanna also take the Gyarados with me. So, this will be our last stop, and then I will take on the gym, I think. I mean, sure, it would be a good experience, but, um, I don't, I, I don't want to risk it. I mean, we, we did the last, no, I'm not going to say anything about the last gyms. They, they were, they were challenging. Had I not been adequately prepared, they would have been very challenging. So, um, I guess here goes nothing. Hoping we're prepared. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm bad at this, I know. I just got to make sure I've got everything on that I want on. Uh, Miracle Seed, don't need. Fossils, can't use. Quick Claw. Probably should put on someone. Uh, Grizzle. You can take my Quick Claw. Rock type moves, don't know any rock type moves. Okay. Do we need berries? <laughs> uh, Orange Berry. Citrus Berry. Nope, don't use it, don't use it, don't use it. Give. Give and you shall receive. Okay, give a citrus berry to Emnoqui. And give the orange berry to Peaford. Peaford has fewer hit points. Which is totally the rationale behind that and not because I wanted to save one over the other. Alright, Vukum, let's do this. It's good of you to come. It, here in Ecruti, Pokemon have been long revered. It's said that Rainbow Hue Pokemon came down to appear, blah blah blah, I believe it to be a tale. As a result, I can see what others cannot. Oh. I believe that person is me. You're gonna help me reach that level. Oh. You want to get, you want to be a, a champion, huh? I thought like all gym leaders would have to be champions at one point. Like, I think like it'd be a, an entrance exam or something. Just go. Okay, level 27. Alright, Vukum, you got this. Also, this uh, Miss Mooka's music is nowhere near as epic as that need I need it to be. So let's uh, let's fix that, shall we? All right, Vukum, you got this. Faint attack. Hmm. Mm. -mm. All right, Vukum, don't hit yourself. Actually, no. I've got a perfect idea. I'm gonna farm this guy. Make him use all his full restores on him. Instead of his Gengar. Yes, full restore your Duskull. Excellent. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, Tickle. I, I he's got to have only one, right? Well done for tickling my goose goat, Vukum. That was amazing. Ah, ah, haha. -ha. Oh yeah? Your burn too. And I think I'm actually going to take the time to heal that burn. Because I don't want my, uh... I don't want my physical attack to be reduced. Because I'm a physical attacker. As in, well, I've got physical attacking moves. I'm really a tank. Ah, god damn it. Hmm. I get the distinct feeling that this is not going to clear up anytime soon. Okay, I'm... Hmm. I'm gonna go for the attack. Hopefully I land this attack. Come on. Yes. I might clear my confusion uh, next. It depends on what he sends out. Alright, well done, Vukum. Gengar, he's going straight for big guns. Jesus. We could be in trouble. Alright, Vukum. Oh, he might know something super effective against you. Oh, I don't know what to do. Hmm. Okay, so he sent out Gengar, which probably knows Focus Blast, is what I'm guessing. But it's not going to be Stab. Quid, what moves do you have? Confused, wait. Fuse Ray, Wing Attack, 
Bide and Hypnosis. I'm gonna send out Quila, me thinks. Because you'll resist for Focus Blast if it's one I think it is. Oh no, it's just Hypnosis. Alright. He's gotta have something like a wide lens though to make sure that hits more often, is what I'm guessing. It doesn't have to. Alright, Quila, wake up. I'm gonna use the Confuse Ray on Gengar. And then depending on what happens. <gasps> Holy shit! I might not get to use that! Hang in there, Quila! Hang in there, come on! Come on, it's not stab! Come on! Ah <sighs> Well done. Um Get back here, buddy. Uh, you know, I don't really need that Confused Ray as much as I thought I did. Alright, Vukum. You've got to do this, mate. Ah, Shadow Ball. You'll resist that, won't you? Yeah. Oh. Special Defense fell, that's not good. Tickle him. Excellent. Okay, so he's faster than me, so I'm going to tickle him once, and then I'm going to... Payback. Thank god his hypnosis missed twice in a row. Come on, Vukum. Die. Yes! Excellent one shotting the Gengar, fantastic. That's what he gets for relying on hypnosis. Excellent experience. Well done everyone. Alright, but it's not over yet. Don't get cocky. Um, faint attack. I don't think I'll one-shot this. Didn't think so. It was tempting to try and tickle. But, uh... Yeah. Oh no! Shit just got serious. Alright. Faint attack! Man, if he had managed, if he had done that and managed to quick claw like a destiny bond, <laughs> that would be one hell of a like a thing. But jeez, alright, Vukum, it's down to you, buddy. No one can help you. Nice change of music. <laughs> Very well timed. How oh, Vukum's just slaying it. Um, faint attack. I don't think I should change my strategy. I think I just got a faint attack all things. Mm -hmm. Alright, well done, Vukum. You're gonna come out of this at full health. Haunter. Haunters aren't that fast. Except for this one. This one's very fast, apparently. <laughs> God damn it. And now Vukum's asleep. I really wish Synchronize would proc on sleep. I have an awakening, don't I? Yeah. Let's use the awakening before I burn through my burn well, full heals even. Alright. Unfortunately, Vukum is down a special defense. But he's still resistant to it. Go for a payback! Ah, damn it! He's really good at landing that hypnosis. Alright, Vukum. Come on, you can wake up, buddy. Here, have these drugs. Specifically caffeine, high dose. Mean look. Oh, <laughs> thanks. I, I wasn't looked at mean enough. No, you definitely can't escape. Yes, he's not going to put you to sleep. Let's hope he doesn't crit. Excellent. Now die! I wonder if he had a Ghastly as well. And he would like, go from Ghastly to Haunted to Gengar. That'd be kind of neat. Except I'm going the other way around, Gengar, Haunted to Ghastly. Wow, Vulcan's just getting all the experience. Oh, a Sableye. Hmm. Tickle. You can do it, Vukum. Tickle him. This music feels very quiet after all the others. I, um... do apologise. Tickle him again. 
up and we'll go for a faint attack. Torment. Hmm. I see. Well, I was going to change it anyway. Faint attack. Torment prevents you from using the same move twice in a row, by the way. Oh, that wasn't enough. That's with two defense debuffs on him. That's impressive. Most impressive. <laughs> and that's two attack debuffs on him. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. You can't use the same move twice in a row. Damn it. Um, payback. It's not as powerful, but it should do the trick. Yeah. All right. And I think that's the gym. If I'm not mistaken, Rubens level 35, ready to steamroll anything. Yeah, that's the gym. Excellent work. <laughs> I don't think uh, potentials are so different. I, I don't know why I started reading about the next thing today, but but you seem to have more than I. So be it. Badge is yours. You're going to receive a foot badge from Morty. Put them up to level 50, we'll obey you, blah blah, and can you surf outside of battle? Also, take TM30, which is Shadow Ball? Yeah. It's usually this special uh, attack of whoever his aces. His aces main attack, I guess. Doesn't have to be a special attack. Alright, well, um, that was Morty. And uh, <laughs> I guess. Uh, well, how do you feel about this, Rugum, first of all? You're confused? Wasn't watching where it was going and ran into me. Oh no! Well, I suppose that's easy to, uh. easy to do in this place. It is uh, a, a very. <laughs> a very ghastly place. <laughs> Isn't that right, guys? Yeah? <laughs> well, um. See you around, Morty. But, um. it looks like. you didn't stand a ghost of a chance. <laughs>